Hello, this is Arabella from Arabella's Heart from Book Art. Welcome to my channel. I'm working uh, on my board book and I did Mod Podge um, everything and I also worked a little bit on the stuff that goes into the box. I will show you what I have so far. So I have a feather but I think I'm going to mount it onto one of these um, tags. I made this tag from the smaller. It's a recycled uh, cardstock so that's why it is a little bit dark. I also made a sort of a booklet. This side nothing yet and in the middle it's crooked that, but that's uh, on purpose. I thought that it would make it a little bit interesting looking uh, to make a booklet like this. And then, um, yeah, I found this in a magazine, in an art magazine. So I thought, well, let's uh, put that in and just mud parts that in so it doesn't stick at all. So, uh, yeah, if you put a small, um, yeah, a small amount, not a thick layer of matte uh, mud parts. I think that is uh, that does the trick, so it doesn't stick at all, as you can see. But it also could be the paper. So this is magazine paper, perhaps that is uh, also working together. So I want to do something on that side. So this is not done, but I like this this outside a lot. So I didn't mud parch this at all. So just could also leave it like uh, like this and then only with this but then of course I also saw that I had a wooden tag so I wanted to include that one and that also gave it an extra an extra look with the, with the twine so this is now how it looks I did put mud patch onto her so the paper is a little bit buckled because of that I did uh, first uh, put another layer of um, to make her more black because I saw that it was really stained and I think that that was the case because uh, the paper was already stained or something and then I went and make, made it black with a with a Posca pen and then yeah you still see the difference but I thought well I make it I'm I will make it a little bit um, bob, yeah, more textured, I mean, with the mud patch. And then I thought, well, perhaps it wouldn't be as noticeable. I also mud patched the wings and made the, yeah, the outline a little bit more. Um, yeah, so I have a new idea because I saw her uh, looking up a little bit. And I already, um, yeah, it's not dry yet, so I will have to let it dry first. But I will pick it up in a minute. I also uh, painted one of my butterflies that I already had, so I thought, well, I put a butterfly up there. And I have this lid, yeah, I will. <laughs> I want to see if I'm well in frame and I have enough light. So I have this lid from Ben & Jerry's. It's really old. It was my stash, stash to put paint in it, but I never did that. So I thought, why not put that over here? And I saw that this really was a good fit. So this is what you see on the other side. That's why I uh, started to paint um, the edge and then uh, I thought about that one sticker that I had so that is really a good idea to push that in and then stick it so just the sticker put my book aside for just a minute so that the, the, that, that doesn't stain so like this and then try to find the middle a little bit it is a little bit crooked onto the design from the sticker, so I think, yeah, I'm a little bit crooked, but well, <laughs> that's okay, so that you can see the other design as well. 
Right. So now it looks a little bit like a sun. So that was my intention to... Uh, yeah, I think I... First I want to try to just stick it down because then I won't have anything on the other side. Let me get, grab my book again. So I can hook it like this and because this has a also has this clamp I could also clamp it first I'm going to attach this I think I'm just going to use a mud parch for that so it really is um, uh, yeah it's just fitting uh, exactly into the this shape so that is really cool which one did I? Yeah, I can just use one of these. Yeah, this has a shape a little bit, so it's bending. It's a little bit round. So I don't know exactly how much uh, of it can fit into this edge, but I will make it a little bit generous. So I thought, well, I'm taking so long with these videos, <laughs> so um, I'm just working on it, uh, not on camera. I'm really used to doing that, so for this I really ha I'm really learning a lot, so I'm really happy that I took this challenge, because now I push myself to make something different, right? So. I'll just leave it like this for now and then see if this is working like this or like this. No, this is correct. So I'll put it onto this edge and then it will be a little bit difficult because because of this edge I can't really clamp it. Now I can think about this um, butterfly that I painted in the same color because I could also perhaps clip it or do something like this, right? On the side, like this. Yeah, I will just uh, think about that one a little bit more. I was always have so little patience <laughs> always want to see what happened so this is how it looks from this side I mean <laughs> so now I have this and I really like that you see when it's catching the light oh wow I love it I could also just uh, clip this onto here right doesn't that finish it? Finish the page or something? Couldn't clip onto this because then it will look like that, right? Or just the edge of uh, over here. Hmm, that's also really cute. So I'll just put it over here and then see how that is working. So I'm also painting the back so that I can uh, put it anywhere I want. And which way it is, it's really looking cool in this color. So, so I can alter everything and then make it to sort of match or make it to work and look good. To I will just leave it to dry in this on this uh, thing really good uh, well adhered now but I really like this with this this almost looks like a sun and that she's looking to the light or to the sun right but now that I made that butterfly I think that that will be uh, the final thing for this uh, the only thing I could do for this page is to uh, yeah make 
perhaps make this a little bit more interesting so perhaps uh, ink the edges or even paint it with the with that uh, could also do that to make it really stand out that edge for this but now I smooshed it so what I also could do is just make it like this so you see a little bit of shimmer a really tiny bit so that also will dry clear clearer than what you see now I mean but it will shimmer and that will make it a little bit more interesting also because it came out so dark so. Really the end result of this page I'm really happy about this page and also I want to put some black ink on the edge I'm using Memento Tuxedo black, that's <laughs> what it says. So. Just wanted to make it a little bit grungy, right? Edge as well. That will really make the look, uh, yeah, make it look finished. Also the edges from the box will also make that black and now I went over it but that's okay see just smushed it away okay <laughs> so this is now dry um, and also these are now dry so I will put them over here and also I could do a little bit of doodling perhaps make a few or a few white uh, dots here and there could do that I also also have a gold pen I want to try the gold pen as well, perhaps make sort of these, I don't know if this, that is really visible but it will be um, yeah shiny, <laughs> a little bit shiny more, yeah the white is far more visible to do it. But I will wait. This is a Stabilo. Of course, I'm uh, very inspired by Laura Marie Jenkins, so I am really grateful uh, for her that uh, that I noticed her and that she took the time to notice me. <laughs> right. Sometimes it's just right, some of the people that you meet in your life. It's just the right time, the right place. I like that a lot. So my butterfly is almost dry. Let me see. I'm not picking it up on the... So this is how it looks now the other side oh here I can paint a little bit more I really didn't see that and you do it in a way that you like it right so I can hear my cat 
at the door. He wants to come in. I think it's getting cold outside. Uh, he didn't really want to come in all day long, so <laughs> I think I'm just painting something else. Should I do this one? This I will leave to dry, so I will uh, leave a little bit of that purple visible. So now I also uh, didn't waste my paint. <laughs> so I already painted this <laughs> little thingy. So now this I will put, yeah. Also, don't really have a place. So, thank you so much for watching for this episode. And I will see you in the next. And uh, let me know what you think. So, these are uh, over here to dry. So, I will show you the next time what this uh, it did become. So, let me know what you think. And in the next video, we will... Uh, work on a different page. So I'll see you then. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Doodoy. Doodoy.